Who would have thought that Top Gun Maverick would be as critically beloved as it turned out to be? Since it was released, the movie is breaking records, and obviously, it can't stop. The massive box office debut and the incredible ratings contributed to early talks about a possible third Top Gun movie. So here are all the details known by now. After years of delays, primarily due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the long-awaited sequel to Tony Scott's 1986 classic Top Gun finally debuted in theaters on May the 27th. The development of the movie started in 2010 by Paramount Pictures when Tom Cruise, along with producer Jerry Bruckheimer and director Tony Scott, were all called to return. The draft screenplay was written in 2012, but the project stalled when Scott died later that year. So it was decided the movie would be dedicated to his memory. It took five years for the production to proceed. In 2017, Kaczynski was hired to direct the movie and the release date was set for July 12, 2019, but as we said, Top Gun Maverick was delayed several times. And finally, the film received its premiere this year. Almost no one expected that a sequel to a 1986 film would break so many records. In the past four months, the film has only received rave reviews and most of the fans deem it superior to its predecessor. Top Gun Maverick, believe it or not, grossed over $1.4 billion worldwide. And all of that in just four months. It's already the highest grossing movie of 2022 and also the highest grossing film in Tom Cruise's career. When we talk about numbers, Top Gun Maverick managed to gross over $156 million in its four-day opening weekend, setting the Memorial Day record and beating out the Pirates of the Caribbean record of $153 million. These numbers put Top Gun Maverick far above various pre-release estimates, which range from $80 to $130 million. A rooster's still angry with me about what I did. I thought eventually he would understand why. Tom Cruise and Val Kilmer are the only actors that reprise their roles from the original Top Gun. The story goes something like this. 36 years later, Pete Maverick Mitchell is now back to the base in his historic role. He's now a test pilot and is appointed to train a group of Top Gun graduates for a specialized mission. But everything changes after Rear Admiral Chester Hammer Kane decides to shut down Maverick's scramjet program in favor of founding drones. To save the program from cancellation, Mitchell will risk being grounded after blowing up a prototype while pushing past Mach 10, a hypersonic speed that is 10 times the speed of sound. After this happens, Mitchell's former rival and now Admiral Tom Iceman Kaczynski will save Maverick from being grounded by suggesting Mitchell train an elite group of Top Gun graduates for a dangerous mission that requires blowing up an unsanctioned uranium tank. Maverick will accept this mission when he realizes that his late friend's son, Bradley Rooster, is part of the class that he must train for the mission but the mission will be delayed after the death of Iceman. Now Maverick loses his advocate and he's grounded, and now is the right time for you to hit that like button below the video. No really, Pete Mitchell will have to prove that he's the only one who can complete the mission successfully in the right amount of time. But wait for a second, I think I'll stop here, don't want to reveal any more details if you haven't seen the movie, and if you missed it, believe me, it's more than worth it to watch it because the rumors are already spreading about a possible new movie coming soon. Let's go step by step and check if these rumors are about to become true. If you're asking yourself, no, there isn't any information about the possible release date for Top Gun 3. It's very difficult to say this at this time. We can just hope that it won't be in another 36 years. I mean, who would like to see Tom Cruise as a pilot at 89 years old? But if Harrison Ford can continue making Indiana Jones movies at 80, then why not Tom Cruise be a pilot in the eighth decade of his life? Did she say when she'd be back? You know, she didn't. Let's hope that it won't be the plan for Top Gun 3. As I said, everything right now is purely speculative, so I wouldn't be able to bid with dates at this point. And what about the cast? Who can return and reprise their role in the next possible movie? We already know that Val Kilmer's Iceman was killed, so he won't be coming back in Admiral Tom Kazensky's shoes. However, there's always a possibility that we can see some flashbacks from him. Of course, it's hard to imagine Top Gun without Tom Cruise, but as things stand right now, Maverick could be his last movie in this franchise. It's more possible that the next movie could focus on Miles Teller's rooster. It seems that Top Gun Maverick gave Cruise's character a well-earned happy ending, and it's time for some younger guys to continue his mission. But whether that'll be the case remains to be seen. On the other hand, nothing stops Jennifer Connelly to reprise her role, especially if the third Top Gun movie will be focused on Maverick's transition to civilian life. We can also see more from John Hamm, Glenn Powell, Lewis Pullman, 
Ed Harris and Monica Barbaro. Now, let's see any potential plot details for the third movie. Due to Top Gun Maverick's success, it's highly unlikely that the franchise ends with just one sequel. Even though the movie had a perfect ending, there's no way that the third movie will move forward without the Tom Cruise character. I can say that it was the general vibe at the end of the movie that this could be Pete's last mission. But as there isn't any official confirmation for that, we can still talk about his future in the third film. You, on the other hand, should smash that subscribe button and hit that ring bell below the video. You wouldn't mind, would you? Now let's jump to the possible plot for Top Gun 3. The possible scenario is that we'll see Maverick as a high-ranked officer in the Navy where he'll have his team. Maybe he'll also lead the specialized for Tricky Mission Group so he can continue working with Rooster, Hangman, and Phoenix. The movie could follow the retirement of Maverick and how he might struggle with his civilian life now, but he'll eventually be brought back on board. Miles Teller, who played Lt. Bradley Rooster Bradshaw, offered an update on a potential Top Gun 3 with Tom Cruise. Speaking to ET Online, Teller gave an update on the status of the potential movie by saying that he's got conversations with Cruise. However, the actor didn't give more specific information than that. Teller is optimistic about the potential sequel, but as he says, it's all up to Tom Cruise. That would be great, but that's all up to TC. It's all up to Tom, I've been having some conversations with him about it, we'll see," said the actor. Before the premiere, some theories were suggesting that Top Gun Maverick will end with the death of Maverick, and what's more interesting, the marketing for the film heavily suggested this. But surprisingly, this wasn't the case. On the contrary, the movie leaves Maverick in a great place, both personally and professionally. So the door for another sequel with Tom Cruise is open, but the potential movie could risk undoing the character's perfect ending. We don't know if he retired after his last adventure and successful dangerous mission. He was happy at the end of the movie when he managed to patch things with Rooster and rekindle his romance with Penny Benjamin. So what if any of these things go wrong again? Would that ruin his perfect ending, or does his character still have a lot to show? Even though it took more than three decades for a Top Gun sequel to happen, I assume Hollywood wouldn't mind if another movie happened much sooner, especially with Top Gun Maverick pulling in over $1.4 billion thus far. Nobody can ignore this kind of success, so the pressure is all on Tom Cruise right now. He'll have to make a decision sooner or later. Fans know that Maverick's story has plenty left to share, especially now with a new group led by the Rooster. They all made a great impression in Top Gun Maverick, and they deserve another great story to play in. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.